GatorideCoach.com. Can you achieve this by Case 1000? So here's a good goal for young surgeons in training. You know, I just got back from the Millennial Eye Meeting in Austin, Texas, and I met with a lot of young ophthalmologists. You know, I was one of the more senior doctors in the place. Most of the surgeons there were even students in their 20s, and doctors were in their 30s, maybe early 40s. And they were asking, well, what is it that I can achieve by about case 1,000? And I thought, you know, let me put together a pretty good video of what you can certainly achieve by case 1,000 for a routine cataract case. So here's that case. It's pretty routine. We're going to show it to you from the beginning all the way to the end. And in this case, I've obviously admittedly done many, many thousands of cases. So I'm well beyond case 1,000. But if you can get anywhere near this level by case 1,000, you're really doing great. Now, notice how the beginning steps, I was a little more efficient. But now for a critically important step like a capsorexis, I'll take my time. I'll grab the capsule as many times as I need to really get a nice result there at the end because that's a critical step of the surgery. Other steps like this hydrodissection or even the nucleus removal can be even more efficient. Now, again, my goal is not necessarily just pure efficiency, but it's a safe surgery, a reproducible surgery, a pretty surgery. Little touches like that extra aliquota viscoelastic to protect the central corneal endothelium, it's important. Now, you notice a lot of the flow coming from, from my phaco tip. So I'm using a high flow rate, 40 or even 50 cc's a minute. The nucleus, which is on its side, is now chopped, and there are two halves. And each half can now be emulsified pretty easily. Now I'm making good use of phaco power modulations to minimize the total ultrasonic energy placed in the eye. And you notice after the one chop, I'm essentially just pushing that one hemonuclear piece towards the phaco probe. Here's the second half that comes up, and I can chop a little bit if I want, but really these pieces should come up pretty easily. And this is a cataract of basically moderate nuclear density, pretty typical cataract that you'd find here in the USA. And just like that, we'll get out the epinuclear shell as well, and now all that's left is cortex. So pretty efficient, you know, only about two minutes into the surgery, and the nucleus is already out. Again, don't worry so much about the speed, but worry about the ballet of it. No wasted motions, pretty things that just flow really well. So now taking out the cortex, you also notice the position of the incisions looks pretty good. The incisions are barely nicking limbal vessels, so you know they're going to seal beautifully. And the incision architecture is good, so I'm confident that they're going to seal um, nicely even initially and be watertight. Now cortex removal here, I'm going to go more circumferentially. And notice I don't really pull too much radially, it's more circumferential, and now it's pretty well cleaned up. I can polish the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim, and we can go around and do that. And I'm not going to use any special polishing instruments, you can just use the IA tip with a low degree of suction. I don't change the setting, I use the same setting as cortex removal, I just use my foot to modulate the total amount of vacuum that's delivered. Now the capture bag is filled with our cohesive viscoelastic. My technician's already loaded up the lens for me. We'll fixate the eye here with the chopper, and then here comes the lens. You can see that's delivered in the capture bag pretty easily. And that's a preloaded lens design, and we'll make sure that optic and both haptics go completely within the capture bag. And we can rotate it there through the side port, make sure that trailing haptic releases. And you can see that Rex's overlap looks pretty darn good. So I think it's helpful to watch other people operate. And if you're in that learning curve, set yourself a goal that I want to be able to achieve a case similar to this. More so the technique, not necessarily the time. Yeah, this is an efficient case. We're done in about five minutes or less. But the case time doesn't matter. Even if it's 15 minutes, if you can do a case that has this kind of ballet to it with no wasted motions and a very efficient technique, and reproducible, good rexus and incision. Remember those two things are your signature. I think you can certainly achieve this. So if you can keep this in mind, achieve this by case 1,000. Oh, look at that angle sweep at the end there. A little bit of retained viscoelastic coming out of the angle. But if you can achieve this by case 1,000, I think you're doing great. And if you're this dedicated that you're watching these videos, I know for sure you're going to make this happen. Thanks for watching.